How to use an AED with hands-only CPR. What is an AED? An AED stands for Automated External Defibrillator. AEDs are present in most public locations. AEDs can be located by looking for signs or AED boxes that look like what's pictured here. If a healthcare professional is on site, the AED is most likely with them. Some might ask, why familiarize yourself with an AED? The answer is simple, AEDs save lives. It's important to note that while AEDs may look similar, there are two main types of AEDs. First, let's discuss automatic AEDs. An automatic AED will work on its own, cycling through, analyzing heart rhythms, and delivering shocks to the patient. No user assistance is needed. The AED will deliver shocks without the need to press a button. It is important to make sure everyone is clear of the patient when the AED declares a shock is being delivered. Now, in contrast, let's discuss semi-automatic AEDs. Semi-automatic AEDs will need some assistance from the rescuer. Once the AED has advised shock, the rescuer will need to push a button to deliver the shock to the patient. Again, it is important to stand clear of the patient when a shock is being delivered. These types of AEDs are most prevalent. Now we will go through each step of how to use an AED. It is important to check that the scene is safe. This means that it's safe for both the patient and the rescuer. During this step, the rescuer will also call 911 or direct someone nearby to call 911. When the AED arrives at the scene, the first step is to turn it on. Some AEDs will have an on-off button, while others will simply turn on by opening the lid. Once the AED is turned on, be sure to follow all directions. The AED will guide you. Next, it is now time to prepare the patient. To do this, you must first expose the patient's chest. If the patient is wet, dry their chest off as much as possible. Remove any metal objects that may come into contact with the pads. This includes underwire bras. If any medication patches are present on the patient's chest, carefully remove those as well. Next, open the pads. Place the pad one at a time on the patient's chest following the pictures on the pads. One pad will be placed on the upper right chest, below the collarbone, while the second pad will be placed on the lower left side of the chest. Once pads are connected to the patient, plug in the connector to the AED if needed. After that, the AED will now analyze the patient. Be sure to Analyzing not touch the patient Stay clear. during this time. Do not touch the patient. At times, an AED will advise a shock to be delivered to the patient, shock while at other on. times, they will not. Charging. If a shock is advised, make patient. sure to stand clear of the patient and push the shock button as directed. If no shock is advised, the AED will advise the rescuer to continue CPR. Once the AED is attached to the patient, it must remain on the patient. That is until emergency medical staff arrives. Once the shock has been delivered, it is safe to touch the patient and resume CPR. The AED will recycle and reanalyze the patient every two minutes. So be sure to listen to the AED as prompted. Now, let's see the steps at full speed. Apply pads to patient's bare chest. Plug in pads connector next to flashing light. Apply pads. Plug in connector.
analyzing heart rhythm. Stay clear. Do not touch the patient. Shock advised. Charging. Stay clear of patient. Everybody clear. Deliver shock now. Press the shock delivered. Pause. Begin CPR. In summary, call 911, provide hands-only CPR, and save a life. Statistics provided by the American Heart Association and the CDC. Stay safe.